What's up, y'all? It's Daniel, your shoe If you're like me, you may be inundated by ads on social media for lifts or insoles for men. That's right, there are these one to maybe even three inches worth of triangle type material that go in your shoe, mainly high tops and above, so that you can, in essence, make yourself seem taller. Myself, I am five foot ten and don't really have a need to be any taller. Sure, when my wife wears her three to four inch heels, it there's a little bit of looking up a little bit, but by no means do I have Tom Cruise syndrome and have to wear lifts every day. I'm fine with the Nike Reacts or the Overbreaks or the Boost giving me just a little bit more height, but I'm good with my 5'10". But I thought, what a fun video would it be to get these insoles, try them on, and see what I look like. See what it's like walking on them. Is it like high heels that people say? Are these high heels for men? And hey, what does the world look like being one to three inches taller than I normally am? So today, we're gonna to talk about one such brand of insole. I went on Amazon and did some research and found the three highest rated or three best looking or whatever. I found three different brands of insoles. And today we're gonna to do part one of them. And we're gonna focus on, of the three that I bought, the insoles that provide the lowest or smallest height increase. This particular brand only offers up to one and a half inches of height though there are others out there that will get you to almost three inches added to your normal everyday height. So today we're gonna talk about the Mendez low profile insole and I've already opened it, but I'm going to give you sort of an unboxing. It comes like this. I ordered it from amazon.com. The retail price is $29.95 US American. And you open it up and you're like, oh, is there a phone in there? Well, there's not, right? And you open it up and there are two sets of these things in here and you can see that it says Mendez and they are definitely insoles and they, well, they go into your shoe. Now there are two different ones of this, obviously a left foot and a right foot. Now this one and every other one comes with pieces. You can see that there are two pieces right here. This is a half inch lift. This is a one inch lift. So you can get one inch or one and a half inches. I'm not really sure you can put this in and just get a half inch lift. Not really sure what the point would be if you're trying to, maybe you're five, 11 and a half and you really want that extra half, but uh, you can do one and a half or you can do one and you just, and you just put them together. You can see that it has sort of like a little puzzle area. This goes in this and it looks like there's a crown on there because this is for us short kings out there. Am I short? is under six feet short, apparently on dating profiles it is, but boy, am I glad that I'm not on any of that. 5'10", got a wife, don't need to bother with any of that. But the crown goes into the crown, and there you go, and it disappears in there somehow. Welp, there it is. And you can see, this would give you a full inch and a half. This would just give you an inch. So what I'm gonna do now, I've pre-recorded this version because I wanna go try it out, but actually show you what it's like. I'm going to put them in the shoe. I'm gonna put both heights so you can see. And then I'm gonna show you what it's like walking with them because I have to assume it's a little bit different walking with these things in your feet. You're propped up, right? If this props you up a little bit, that means my foot goes from this to this. And I'm not sure how that's gonna feel. So I'm gonna cut relatively soon to trying on these Mendez uh, insole shoes, again, one inch and one and a half inch. All right, so as you can see, I decided to try this experiment out with the Nike Air Jordan 1 Shadow 2.0s. According to the description on the Amazon page, it says that these insoles will fit any occasion, a Chelsea boot, a high top sneaker, a classic low top sneaker, a classic boot, or a dress shoe. So unlike other insoles or foot lifts I have seen, this one says you can actually wear it with low top shoes. The instructions given were pretty basic and obvious. Loosen the laces on the shoes as much as possible. For added height, add the stackers to the insoles. Then you insert the insoles. You insert your foot and tighten the laces comfortably and go out there and do something remarkable. Now from this angle, you really can't tell how much it affects my height. Maybe if you look at the cuff of my track pants, you can see that it's getting higher and higher, one inch higher, an inch and a half higher. And when it comes to sliding it in, it feels weird at first because you feel like there's something underneath the heel of your foot, but it's not like a rock or anything. It definitely feels like you have something in there. If you ever put your wallet in your shoe, then maybe this feels like that. I'm not sure. I've never had two wallets because I've never had to do that. So I'm not really sure. 
but putting them in and wearing them definitely did feel a little weird, especially when you add the inch and a half insole to that. The inch felt okay. I didn't feel any weird pressure on the ball of my feet or my toes, and I didn't feel any weird wobbliness when trying it on. But when I put on the inch and a half, I definitely felt like there was some awkwardness in how I stood. And then when I walked, I was afraid to no normally go like heel toe like I normally do. I don't know if it's because I had all that extra stuff on the heel. I'm not sure. I've never really walked around with, well, male high heels, but it did feel different. I'm sure if I were to wear it for an extended period of time, it would probably become comfortable and I would forget all about it. But just on an initial impression of never wearing these for all of my years of life and then wearing them for these few minutes, it was definitely a weird feeling. Now I decided to show you what it looks like with me pretty much just standing still against the same background so that you can get an idea maybe of if this really noticeably impacts your height. Because I think maybe half inch is not really that noticeable to people. Maybe an inch and a half is, especially if you're standing next to someone or something that is traditionally taller than what you're used to. Maybe you'll see some difference and maybe you'll go like, oh yeah, that's really worth it. Wearing these, if I were to wear them, I can't see myself going over the one one inch according to these insoles. The one inch felt better to me, felt more natural, and didn't feel like I had to change my step or my gait. The one and a half inch, I definitely had to think not only how I walked, but how I stood and how I leaned because now your center of gravity is pushing you a little bit forward because you're lifted on your tiptoes. It's not all on the ball of your foot like it is standing on your tiptoes because again, your feet are resting on those insoles and it does offer support. So what do I think about these Mendez insole lifts, the one inch, one and a half inch lifts that you can put in there? I think they're fine. I don't see myself using them, but I can see why people would like to use them, especially when it comes to boots or high top shoes. I am curious about what you think about insoles. Do you use them? Do you know anyone that uses them? Do you care? Look, I've said it, I don't sneaker shame on this channel and I don't height shame on this channel. I'm not six feet and that's okay. I don't care. I don't really feel any self-consciousness like, oh, I wish I was taller. Uh, I don't really care. I think I'm a good height. I'm above height for people of my culture and ethnicity. So, hey, that'll work. But if you like these, uh, I'd love to hear what you think about this particular brand or another brand. Like I said, I have two other brands that I'm going to talk about. They will be in graduated heights. The next one will offer a little more than one and a half. And the third one will offer the most height of the ones that I decided to buy. So uh, curious what your thoughts on the whole insole lift craze for men is. Don't know what it is about 2021, 2020, but um, seem to see a lot of these ads as of late. So curious what you think in the comment section down below. So to all of you out there, wherever you are, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Just Chill till the next episode.